What is up, everybody? Fish Crypt here with uh, another uh, Rock and Bison gameplay. And I, if you can, wa if you're watching the video right now, you can, you may notice I get the first blood here in a second. It's like right at, when I run into this cave, it I mow him down with this Rock and Bison. <laughs> there it is. Okay, but today was. Not a good day, honestly. A bunch of a series of events happened, and by the way, sorry if this is a little off topic, but in this get video in this game I play, I do get killed by a crapload of sniper, uh, sniper, snipers. I know that's not. It wasn't an A2, I don't think. I don't remember, but it was more. I think it was the Lynx. But sorry for getting off topic. But I'll dive up. I die by a bunch of snipers and IEDs, but besides that, today was a pretty bad day. I the a lot of stuff that happened just made the day really bummed a really bummed out day. It was shocking, and then more just being really disappointed, but. First thing that happened today was my uh, middle dog, which I have three dogs, but I have the oldest one, Chewini, the second oldest, Tank, and the youngest, which y'all know, is Riley. Well, I went off to school this morning, and I think it was that third period, I got told by one of my mom's friends, she... She uh, found me in the hallway, and she f said, "Well, your uh, tank has died. Tank has died." I was like, "What?" And it just really shocked me. I didn't know what to think. I was like, "Well, I just saw him. That, I just saw him that morning. How did how did it happen?" Well, he was. I guess he was sitting on the porch, like he usually is, and. I guess he must have not got knocked off the side. And by the way, this gameplay is a little bit skit, sketchy. But yeah, we uh, he got knocked off the side of the porch and we have like little rails on the side which have little bitty uh pillars, I guess you can call them in the middle of them. Well, he was at the top of it and I guess he got pushed off and the he he was on a chain because we had problems in the past of letting him out, uh, him getting out and one time this lady said he she almost or the, we uh, he was down the street and this lady said well I was just about to keep him and all that so and we always had a problem with that because uh, we like what if he gets kidnapped or what if he gets run over because we live in a small town it's we we live on the main highways so what if he gets hit well we were so we started chaining them up we had a bunch of we had this it was a uh, it was like a rubber tube or not rubber tube plastic tube with like you know the metal insides that kind of chain well he he was on the porch got was at the very top and pushed off and he pretty much hung himself it he hung himself and it killed him my mom she did everything she could to try to uh, stop it but she was actually asleep because she works nights and when she gets she usually sleeps during the day and she woke up soon and it had already happened and she was freaking out. She was actually trying to get him unhung, but it just all of a sudden, I don't know. It just was too late, I guess. But, like I said, it, it's just a series of events that, it's a, or that's not a series of events, but that's an, only one part of the series of events. But the event was like so shocking because we've had him for so long. And he was, he's my little boy. I loved him. He was my tank. 
I always liked his name because he was such a sh small little feisty guy. He was a feisty one, I guess you can say. He was a little chihuahua. And, you know, I always pictured scenarios where, don't make me stick my dog on you, tank, and they'll be expecting some big Rottweiler or something, and this little chihuahua just starts trotting out, you know, looking like, trying to look like a badass, you know. But, it just sucks to think that he's gone now. I always thought that the, my oldest dog, Chawini, would be the first one to go because his age is actually showing on him now after like the six, seven years that we've had him. We've really, we, ch we love our dogs. We never, we never could, we never, in the past, we never didn't have a dog because it, just felt wrong. I've had a bunch of dogs in my life. I loved every single one of them. My oldest, or the oldest dog I remember, ha or my one of my first dogs I ever had was, uh, it was a German Shepherd. Uh, it was like a, it was a mixed breed of a German Shepherd and something else. I don't remember what it was, but her name was Moo Moo, and that was my oldest dog, and it was I, I loved her. She every. I, like I said, I love every, every one of my dogs, but it's just, yeah, I don't know. It's a shocking thing to think about, that he's actually gone. I'll never see him again. They buried him, and I, I wasn't even there to see it, so I don't know. But on to my second little uh, thing that happened today that really sucked, honestly. So... I had to go watch somebody, watch a little kid, because th their parents are in the middle of d doing some stuff, some family problems and all that, so I was having to watch their kid. I was fine with that, I don't, I don't mind watching them. But then after I got done with that, I went up to the school, which my mom works, and I was just wanting to go talk to my mom, right? Well, uh, the 7th and 8th graders have a had a what's it called had a thank you party because they had it was for the eighth graders they seventh grade put on a prom for them and they, yeah 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 but I used to date somebody that was there and it just turned out to be I awkward honestly I don't like seeing them this person she's always been a I don't want to say sh what I can. S I want to say it, but she's the W word. I'm not gonna say it just because it seems like it's really derogatory. I guess you can say. But I. This is what she is. I don't feel like she's ever really. I don't feel like she ever cared about me or anything like that. But it's it was awkward being around her, just to say that. And, but, this video is about to wrap up. I hope you all enjoyed it. So like I said, today has just been one of those weird, very serious events that I really didn't really enjoy, I didn't enjoy at all. Uh, I don't understand why I have, I don't know, bad luck is just coming my way. I can feel it. And, by the way, look at this kill cam. I was an idiot, I was like, well, I'll shoot this way and r r wrap back around, but <laughs> I didn't know where I was going, I was just messing around so much that I really didn't care about the game winning kill anymore, but I just, I hope y'all's day was better than mine, I feel like it's just not that great, um, as you can see, I was in a, sorry, I'm always getting off topic, but as you can see, I'm in the lobby with Miss Bonnie, and that's Bonnie Sue, and she said bye and thanks for playing. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, this was Spear's Crypt, and I'm out. Peace.